we look at Ehang 184, materials, weight, dimensions, and specs. Want a passenger drone? Ehang AAV is the world's first autonomous aerial vehicle that is going to change the way we look at urban commuting patterns. Have you been using subway much? Have you owned a car? Have you been catching the bus to work every single day? It's all about to change with air taxis and flying vehicles. And there is one that we are going to tell you about today. Ehang 184 is basically an autonomous passenger's drone that is the first vehicle of its type to be licensed for manned tests. So it may well be that in the nearest future, we will be able to buy an air drone capable of carrying people. We are going to tell you everything we know about the Ehang 184 project. Concept and Materials The vehicle was first shown to the public in 2018. Before that, Ehang Company had already been testing it for three years. They said that until 2018, they had made up to 40 piloted tests. The concept wasn't believed to be a real vehicle until the company released some footage with Ehang 184 flying around the production site in Guangzhou, China. After that, numerous projects of flying passenger drones started appearing on the market. But basically, Ehang 184 was the first one to propose the concept of making a huge drone that is capable of carrying people and loads. The Ehang 184 is constructed using composite material with carbon fiber and epoxy and aerial aluminum alloy. Actually, you may say that it's made of plastic and it has aluminum skeleton to withstand any kinds of loads during its flight. Dimensions and weight. The vehicle is said to occupy the same parking space as an average car. So it's not that huge, even though it has four arms with propellers installed on them. The length of the AAV is 3.86 meters and the width is close to the length 3.89 meters. The overall height is 1.44 meters. The vehicle weighs approximately 200 kilograms or 440 pounds. Thanks to a relatively small weight and compact dimensions, Ehang 184 can fly very fast and ensure great range. If you are concerned about putting the AAV in your garage or finding a parking lot, you should also know that the vehicle can be folded. And when folded, it will take the same space as let's say Ford Focus. Nicely chosen aviation materials seem to be the best option for a flying car like Ehang 184. They are very light but still quite safe even during storms or some other unexpected weather conditions. Main specs of Ehang 184. The vehicle can speed up to 81 miles per hour or 130 kilometers an hour. And that's huge if you think about city commuting where the average speed now is about 15 miles per hour. One more important thing is that you don't need to stop at crossroads and traffic jams. You just rush to your destination at a speed of 81 miles per hour and that's it. The vehicle can fly around 10 miles or 16 kilometers on a single charge. You may think it's too short, but we are talking about a fully electric and absolutely eco-friendly vehicle with a tiny battery on board. The service ceiling is 500 meters, not bad for a small flying car. The AAV is fully self-piloted. You will only need to provide the address or a GPS point to fly. There are eight double-blade propellers installed on its four wings. Ehang says that they have tested the vehicle in stormy weather, extreme heat, under cold weather, on extreme heights, and it proved to be safe. There is a system of emergency landing. The Ehang 184 will land immediately if there are any troubles with the system, battery, or weather. How much can it carry? The AAV was tested with two test drive dummies, but it still claimed to be a one passenger vehicle. It's quite possible that Ehang Company may produce the AAV for commercial use, like air taxi or delivery vehicle. They have agreements with Dubai administration to offer the project for air taxi soon. Are there any troubles? There aren't still any mass produced vehicles of the type or any AAVs you may buy for personal use. So, of course, there are a lot of rumors and journalistic investigations around the company. In 2021, Wolfpack Research published a report telling us that Ehang Company is involved in fraud on stock market. The reporters provided evidence that the company had been making fake news about its progress and was just making a bubble on a stock market. For a single day after the report was published, Ehang stocks fell for over half of their price. But the company published a lot of materials to prove the research was faked. We are now waiting to get an air vehicle that will actually take us to the air in cities and allow to fly rather than drive. And we hope Ehang will achieve its goals.